Uh, yeah, look, not sure whether it is or not, but, you know, it was, it's been a month, so it was nice to win. You know, we were, we're in that spot where you're going to eke out a win, um, and we did. I like the way sort of we handled the last 15 minutes. Sometimes you can sort of get a bit of tight in those uh, circumstances. I thought we handled it really well to finish the game in the way that we did. I felt like we defended well. I felt like we organised the one point well. From 24-18, I thought we, we managed it well. We obviously let some really tr tr easy tries in there that we didn't want to let in. You know, Fox's speed got us on a couple of occasions there and that was really disappointing. But, um, yeah, you know, you always celebrate your wins. Yeah, definitely. We, we we saw like some some of the things obviously to get though that many points against us we weren't happy with, but um, the way that we sort of rolled the ruck at different times, I thought our meterage was quite a fair bit higher than the opposition. I thought our defensive pressures were higher, and then you know we had the two kick tries were really annoying. Um, the scrum try, the short side one out, like things that you know we can fix, but are also. Uh, you know, they're not good to have. But around that, I felt like we were closer to our Roosters style of footy and, and we were, we knew what we were doing. But for Kimberley, it was, um, at one stage, I think you were defending and defending for attacking on the wing. Was that always the same thing you said? No, it was only that one occasion. He, he was on the wing today. It was just that uh, Corey had taken that short side carry down the short side and then Sue went in to um, cover and that, that's when he came back to the centre for that pass to Corey where he kicked into Ted so that was only on that occasion. Strong performance today but none better than the man next to you. How special is that performance today? Yeah, it is because you know, like that's what champions do. They, they, Teddy's never going to sort of go but talk his way out of something. That's not what footy players do. Um, champions sort of go, right, yeah, they assume the the pressure that's involved and then they go, okay, all I can do is play and I'm just got to play. I'm going to show you what I can do and that's what happened. You know, he carried us right from the start there today, he put us on, our, on his back and went, I'm going to play footy and he played all different styles today and it was, you know, we needed him and he just showed who he is. Did you know it was coming? Well, you, you know, nothing's guaranteed in life but I haven't seen Teddy miss an opportunity. You know, his whole career with us has just been quietly going about his business, but he knows, they know when it's on and when it's time to go, and he, and, and he went. And you given the run you had, the fact you fell behind three times today, how hard was it for the team, the collective, to hold its nerve? Yeah, it felt like, um, like Robert said, we were sort of playing some really good footy with the ball, so we were rolling really well and getting through our sets great from our own end, and then just some, some soft tries that made it go back and forth, which... Um, it was tough, but since we haven't been used to winning lately, we wanted to we had to keep fighting for it. Um, but Robert said, so I think that last 10, 20 minutes um, stuck to our process, got to a field goal really well, and then closed out the game really well. So um, it was just it's good to win. Yeah, it's been a while, so I'm happy with that. As Robert said, that field goal was executed almost like it was a training run out there. There was no real pressure seemingly from Canterbury, and, and Luke played it perfectly. It unfolded. Had it unfold in your eyes? Yeah, it's something every team practices, I reckon, just for those moments that you only get, uh, who knows, once every couple of weeks or months. So, um, you know, we practiced it plenty of times. We knew um, what spot we needed to get to. Kiri was our main option, and I'm just glad he, he nailed it. With a big smile on your face, does it feel like there's almost like a bit of a weight lifted after what's happened the last few weeks and oh. days? Yeah, it's been, um, probably myself, I've probably carried a lot of um, expectation and, and weight on my shoulders, so I've just tried to get back to playing my natural footy, instinctive footy as a fullback. Um, I just felt like I, I did that today and that sort of brought out my best footy and just wanted to, to lead by example. So, yeah, it's, it's obviously been tough, um, but I just wanted to sort of let, let go of Wednesday night um, and just go go out and enjoy my footy. I felt like, you know, it was... Um, I'm glad we won because I wouldn't have enjoyed it if we didn't, if we didn't win, but um, it was definitely... I definitely had fun. Steve, how hard is it for that goal to win that's your personal criticism? Because you were... Oh uh, yeah, I just I try not I pretty much delete all social media and just talk to my close people who I know I want to 
you know, going to give me honest feedback and I can I speak my mind to, you know, Robbo and manager and my family, friends, guys too. Um, I value their opinion and, and I can talk honestly with and they're the only people I really listen to or, or talk to. I just try to, um, yeah, there's a lot of outside noise, but you know, I'm experienced enough now not to listen to that, even if you, you know, play the game of your life, whether it's good or bad. I don't want to read anything because, um, yeah, when you, don't, when you don't play well, with it, they come at you pretty hard. So, yeah, I just wanted to get back into the boys yesterday, train well, and just, you know, get back to enjoying my footy, and I felt like I did that. Yeah, that's that's the media. <laughs> that's, what um, it's <laughs> that's all. happens. Whether it's good, that's all. It's all part, of, especially in the Origin game. Like everyone's watching. It's going to be, as I said, I have played plenty of great games. We've got plenty of praise from everyone. And then when James a good game, you get, um, you know, plenty of criticism. So that's just it's all part of the game. I, I know. I know now how to, um, you know, not not buy into that. And as I said. Stick to my close friends and family and people who are who mean a lot to me. Although we had some great scenes at the end with Sam and Smith in tears with his family and yeah. friends, and I think the last bloke, local bloke, to make it to Bill Costa was Nico Hine from Melbourne years ago. When did you decide that Sam was going to make his debut? If you can tell us that. Yeah, probably mid last week. I, I sort of knew that. I, like we've got North Sydney and Roosters playing reserve grade and we've put our more experienced guys at North and Sandon's been playing at, at Roosters and they've been having a tough year but fighting hard. And he's had to make lots of big decisions as a young guy. Like he's had to try and win games and go after games and I liked the way that he was doing that. I felt like he was growing. But he's a half, played 5'8", fullback. So I, middle of last week I said, I'm going to put you in at hooker this last weekend and... You, you're a small half, go and play. He played 68 minutes at nine um, against Newtown, who were at the top of the table. And I really enjoyed watching him play there. Four yeah, he had, yeah, two grubber kicks, a short side, yeah, and another, yeah, he had four try assists, 68 minutes, tackled, beautiful service. And I thought, well, you know, he's sharp as well. And so, and then it just happened to be at the Central Coast. <laughs> which was a really nice thing for him to do that. So, you know, he's come through our junior system. We've been here for a long time on the Central Coast, the Roosters. We know we're the eastern suburbs, but we've spent a lot of time on the Central Coast. And he was one of the young rising stars coming through that come and visited these guys in the change rooms a few years ago. And now he's playing. So um, I really like what he did tonight. You don't want to take about Sue's kick at all? Anybody want to <laughs> chat about Suwali's? <laughs>